Happy weekend, everybody. This is Steven with Canon, and we're back for another technical analysis. This week, we're going to jump into another uh, big revenue generator. This is TrueLeave out of uh, Florida, who earlier Q2 2019 reported uh, upwards in the 50s, 52 million in revenue. Uh, they have a couple hundred thousand patients, lots of stores open, lots of storefronts in Florida. Uh, so, so definitely one of the ones to watch and see how profitable they can be. Uh, but let's jump over to the pricing chart now. You'll see we're looking at TCNNF. That's the uh, ticker here in the United States on the OTC. And we're looking at the uh, four-hour chart. Uh, and it's a little bit busy, so let's just look on the bottom. We have the RSI, the Relative Strength Index, and we all know how to interpret that. Uh, again, highlighting 30 and 70 as the range. Over 70 and below 30 are our over oversold and overbought signals. Then we have the Copic curve, uh, and we haven't looked at this in a while, but this is really a longer term trend. Uh, it uses a, a 10 period weighted average uh, comparing the 11 and the 14 period, uh, so a little bit longer, uh, and it's pretty easy to interpret above zero, uh, that's your bull, below zero, that's your bear. Um, <clears throat> this is traditionally used more for indices, uh, but sometimes it's interesting to use it to identify momentum. Uh, and so you can see, you know, recently, if we scroll way back, here's zero. We've had a lot of time below the zero there, uh, especially back April 19th, all during the summertime. This is a rough summer for cannabis stocks, as we all know. But more recently, look, spending a lot of time above zero, especially really recently. Uh, and then highlighted, we have our, our old reliables, uh, the moving average uh, comparison. And this time we're looking at the 50 period and the 200 period. So the 50 period, which is our short period, is the blue line shown here coming down. Uh, and the purple is our longer period, 200. And so what do we see combining all three of these charts? Well, let's look here. We, we see a, a golden cross uh, in, in the downward trend, a bearish golden cross. The 50 period moving average drops below the 200. We all know that's a sign to sell. And look what happens after that. Price when that cross happened was about 1050 and it just bottomed, bottomed out 8, 818. So had we done that greater than 20% gains? Uh, at the time, Let's just go here. Copic was below zero, so confirming it was a negative trend. Uh, and the RSI also, 29.2, so below our 30 uh, threshold. So you can see a lot of the momentum indicators, a lot of the pricing indicators aligning in selling. And the Golden Cross is one of the easiest moving average comparisons uh, to look at. I'm going to zoom way in because we have uh, another opportunity here. Uh, at the beginning of November, and we had a cross in the other direction, so the 50 period now crossed above the 200 period. Uh, and that's in the, in the bullish direction. What do we see here? The Copic uh, just had uh, crossed over into zero and positive territory, so everything aligning. Uh, the RSI was about 57 and growing before it actually eclipsed the 70 period on uh, about a week a week later on November 7th. So let's watch this closely. We'll see, you know, this is a trigger to uh, uh, buy and then take profit. And, and uh, had we done that on that date, the stock was 1022. It went up to 1124. So, you know, a good 15% that could have been taken just by monitoring the moving average golden crosses uh, and using other indicators to uh, affirm what that's telling us. In this case, both uh, the downward trend, the bearish cross aligned with two other indicators, and, and the, now we get the very recent bullish cross with both indicators aligning. So pay attention to TrueLeave, one of the real revenue generators down in Florida and here in the United States, uh, and let's see how profitable they can become. Thanks, everybody.